designing her own sketchbook cover graffiti names. Now that we have learned all about graffiti and the different terminology, it's time to get planning and designing our own graffiti style names. This project works really well when using black sketchbook covers as our canvas. Here are some examples of already created names on sketchbooks with different background designs. It's important to pre-plan in your sketchbook the type of letter style you are most interested in using for your name. I often plan the whole alphabet to make sure I have the right look. Once you've done that, draw out your name on a piece of paper. Leave enough space in between each letter and add your 3D shadow. Plan which direction your 3D shadow is going in you can also add your 3D shadows to your chips and arrows. You might even want to add extra little details to your 3D shadow for interest's sake. Be consistent. Shadows should all be in the same side depending on your light source. It's now time to add some fun details and decals inside our fill. I'm going to add a few star shapes. Maybe some interesting triangles and rectangles. Sometimes I add extra lines. These don't necessarily mean that they're going to be in my final design. I may edit them out or add more but it gives me an idea of kind of where the placement's going to be. I like working around the shape of the actual letter. I'm going to also add a little bit of circles here. Within my 3D shadow, I'm also going to add a few lines for interest that I might color or add in after. Okay, and once you have a rough idea of your sketch, um, you're going to need to transfer it into the cover of your sketchbook. For a simple image transfer, all you need to do is take your 6B pencil and flip your design name page over. You then cover the whole back of the paper with graphite from your pencil lid so it's completely covered where your design is. Flip your page back around and place it over top of where you want your design to be on your sketchbook. Using a pen or 2B pencil, redraw on top of your design pressing hard enough so that the graphite transfers to the new surface. This is what the pencil graphite will look like when you take the page away. You can also go back and redefine your lines. Here is the example with the name Dawn, designed and transferred onto the sketchbook cover. Now it's time to place our color onto our design. We will be using paint pens for this project. There are a lot of different types of paint pens you can buy that range in price. They come in a nice array of colors. But before we jump right into coloring, let's talk about how to use paint pens correctly. Here you can see the three paint pens, both the green and the purple, look to have paint at the writing end. The red, however, has a plain beige color to it and there is no red on the end of it. To get paint out of this paint pen, you will need to give it a shake and dab the end of the pen into a scrap piece of paper. When the paint pen is new, it needs a lot of dabs to whisk the paint into the absorbent center and funnel it down to the tip of the pen. You can slowly see how the paint is absorbing through as the red is beginning to show in the end. It's important not to press too hard and do this aggressively, otherwise the end of the paint pen will get wrecked and won't be able to be used again. 
Now the red paint pan is working and the full red is covering the entire end of the paint pan. We also have to make sure that when you are closing your paint pens, you hear that click and that this lid is sealed to the other part of the pen. Let's do it one more time. Clicked and sealed. That's how you want to finish and complete so that nothing dries out. Okay, it's time now to find your colors that will work best with your name and style. Paint pens can be mixed with each other to create ombre colors or colors that look blended. But because these are acrylic pens, you have to work fast before the paint dries. You may also find yourself needing to continually dab on a scrap piece of paper to work the paint onto the end of the pen. Okay, let's recap. Make sure to carefully sketch out your idea and image transfer your work onto your piece. Select your colors and begin your fill. Then move to your inner outline. Your inner outline can be done with black or any other color. Then move to your 3D shadow, remembering that you wanna fill that in and maybe add even details. The fill can have detail and decals within it. And then include your aura, outer outline. The aura here is in pink. You are going to add shines and highlights. Those can be done in any lighter color. Adding extra shine blings can also make your piece pop. And let's not forget about designing with color combinations in mind and unique backgrounds. Here are different color combinations for a particular designed graffiti name. Notice how you can get a completely different feel depending on the colors you choose. All right, now it's your turn. Have fun stylizing letters and backgrounds that fit with your name and who you are.